out of the blue, the clouds turned gloomy. The winds blew, angry waves grew, and the waves piled up like mountains view, causing a strong storm to brew. Then fly and flew, oh, we were so frightened, so we sought for you. Oh, I thought, if only I had power like the God of the gentle and Jew, I would have sat comfortably in the storm, enjoying rice and stew. But there I was, being young towards the water, while people ran helter-skelter in search of shelter. I wish I could fly like an aviator, or get superpowers like Avatar. But there I was, young into that chilled water like Cheshire water. Splash. Not the food drink splash. Not the Korean drama splash splash. But sound splash. I tried to swim, but I failed miserably because I was not Michael Phelps. Oh my gosh. Nor could I move with super iconic speed like Flash. I began to drown. Now nothing is even going to change even if I frown. My beautiful eyes wore darkness crown. Everything started to fade in my sight as if I was in a flight. Oh, this was my plight. I began to sink deeper and deeper and deeper into the sea like a tiny mite. I finally gave up the fight and embraced death, my faith. All of a sudden, a, a mighty strong hand reached out and lifted me like, reached out and lifted me. He gave me CPR and my eyes flattered open. There he was, my savior, but his face shined so bright that I could not see him. Oh, I thought, who is this beauty who has saved me that my eyes cannot even behold? Your first love came into my mind, his sweet, soothing, angelic voice. Oh, my dove, and that was my choice. I went into his embrace and I felt his love engulf me like lace. Tingles run down my spine in a pace and I felt all warm and cozy. Butterflies erupted in my tummy as if they were in a race. His sweet intoxicating smell flared up my nosy. Oh, I could stay there for eternity. That was my place of tranquility. Oh, my place of serenity. I held tightly onto him because he was my source of security. I caught a glimpse of his love for me before he disappeared. He went through a series of torment, torture, merciless beating, unnecessary weapons. He was nailed and bruised. He was beaten. He was pierced with arrows in the red. Water gushed out and blood oozed out of him. He went through all this just for my sake. My sake. Me, a mortal woman who was deceived by a mere snake. I fell down on my knees and I wailed. Oh, what manner of love is this that a man who sacrificed himself for another? Just as he gave me that CPR, he gave me spiritual CPR that revives. He died so I could survive. He was crucified so I would be sanctified. I am justified through his blood and I am saved through his blood, not through Pastor Peter's blood, but through Christ, the friend of Peter's blood. This love, the depth of this love is a mystery not in discovery that a man will go through misery just to liberate me from slavery I am now his redeemed because I am esteemed <laughs> 